Are the public schools stealing our kids? As parents, two of the most important roles that we have are to protect our children and to prepare our children. And as Christian parents, those roles look a little bit differently because those roles mean that we are to protect our kids from the world, but also to prepare them to live in the world for the rest of their lives. And so when we ask these questions about what do I do with my kids when they're learning something at school that I don't agree with or when they're being taught something that I think is wrong. Now, the reality is those are always an opportunity for us to prepare our kids to live in the world because they're going to live in a world that is at conflict with Jesus' values. But there are times when the need to protect our kids supersedes our ability to prepare our kids. And so there may be that difficult time for every parent when they say, this school is not the place for my kids. But let's be honest, those times are few and far between. I get it. There are some teachers, a very few teachers, a minority of the teachers who are out there trying to overrule what you're teaching in the home and maybe want to change your kids' minds about your deeply held values, but that's few and far between. For the most part, teachers want to partner with parents. And so we need to figure out how to do that in a way that most effectively protects our kids and also prepares our kids. Let's talk about what it looks like for parents to engage the schools where their children are attending. What it looks like for them to be supportive. If parents are volunteering, if parents are donating, if parents are getting involved in the PTA, they're beginning to build a platform that they can use later on to talk with teachers, to talk with administrators, in a way that they can have useful and helpful conversations. As a parent, you don't want to be known as that Karen or that Carl who only ever shows up to yell at the school board meetings. You want to be known as that parent who's trying to work with the school, to partner with the school, to prepare your child for the rest of your life. So learn what it means to be the person that they turn to instead of being the person that they run away from. That means invest in your relationships with your kids' teachers. Show up at parent-teacher conferences. Uh, Ask what you can do to help in the classroom. How can you help on field trips? Be a part of the school. Be a part of your kids' education. And then when the time comes, be prepared to have those difficult but important conversations. When the time comes where you have to say, I'm not comfortable with what's happening here. I'm not okay with what's being taught here. Learn to have those conversations conversations in a gracious manner. Look for places where you share values. Uh, Look for solutions that are win-win. And at the end of the day, if you're investing in your kids' teachers, if you're being a parent that's supportive, if you're helping out wherever you can, they're going to listen to you when the time comes. And having said that, it may be that when that time comes, you are going to have to make some tough decisions. So while you need to be a parent that's active and involved in your kid's school, you also need to be a parent that is informed and aware. And that means figuring out exactly what are the laws in your community, in your state? What are the federal laws that impact your kid's education and specifically that impact your rights as a parent. Make sure that you're familiar with the policies of your local school district. So when the time comes, you can be an informed parent who's helping to shape the policies in a way that's going to be beneficial for you and for your kids. But never forget, ultimately, you are responsible for your children. No one else is responsible for how they learn or what they get out of their childhood. And so what you need to do is you need to be a parent who parents intentionally. Because really the answer to this question has nothing to do with what happens at school and it has everything to do with what happens at home. If you are not parenting intentionally, you will ultimately lose your credibility with your kids and you will lose your ability to be the authority in their lives. Now understand that your kids' teachers are an authority figure in their life and they should be. And they are a voice that is teaching your kids and they should be. You need to parent in such a way that you are always the ultimate authority in your kids' lives and that you are always the most credible voice that speaks into their education. So let's get really practical. Don't let your kids be parented by a screen. In fact, I would say, make sure you're spending as much time intentionally teaching your kids as they're spending watching a screen. In fact, watch the screens with them, whether it's television or movie or video games, whether they're scrolling on social media, do that with them. And while you're watching or scrolling or reading or playing, have conversations about the worldview that's being represented and how you agree with it 
and how you disagree with it. Teach them to think for themselves about these issues. Ask difficult questions. Make them sort through the issues. But do it in a way that they understand you're trying to build into them. Add value to your kids' lives. Give them wisdom whenever you can. Because as you add value to their lives, as you give wisdom to them, as you spend quality time with them, you're building your credibility. And ultimately, at the end of the day, if they see you as more credible than their teachers, then they will adapt your worldview instead of the worldview they're being taught at school. If you parent well, It ultimately won't matter if your children hear something that's in conflict with your worldview. Because if you parent well, they'll turn to you for the real answers in life. In fact, if you parent well, dealing with conflict or at school or or different issues at school is a wonderful opportunity for you to prepare your kids to live in a world for the rest of their life that's going to be hostile to their faith. You know, Proverbs 1.8 says, Hear my son your father's instruction. And forsake not your mother's teaching. You know, children grow wise by listening to their parents' teaching. But if their parents never teach, they'll never have the chance to grow wise. Take every opportunity. Be intentional. Be responsible. Parent your children today so that they will be wise tomorrow.